Hi, you've clicked on to today's tropical tidbit for Wednesday. Over here in the Atlantic, the biggest area of thunderstorms visible is this tropical wave east of the Antilles. But it is not the big area, but the little Invest that could that will be stealing the show today. Invest 90L, just now exiting the Northwest Caribbean, will be the big concern today. This tropical wave is approaching a big tut upper trough in the Central Atlantic and will not be immediate threat for development. We can pay attention to that later. Our big focus right now is going to be Invest 90L, as this has the potential to threaten land, uh, namely the United States in the western Gulf of Mexico during the next several days, and we will be focusing on that today. If we zoom in on this, there's a little bit of rotation showing up here under the northern edge of the convective ball, just now leaving the Caribbean and now entering the southern Gulf of Mexico, and uh, the Hurricane Center noted that on radar out of Cancun, there was a circulation that was trying to develop. And here is that Cancun radar. And there's not a whole lot of showers near the center up here to really see what's going on. But from what I can tell, I don't see personally a lot of support for circulation here based on the radar and the uh, thunderstorm movements south of the center. However, the sounding out of Cancun this morning, which is only a couple of hours old now, showed that winds were very light out of the west from the surface through the 850 millibar level which is about 5,000 feet up. So at the low levels, it looks like the circulation may be trying to close off in here slowly. And it certainly looks well-defined on satellite, a lot better than yesterday. And the thunderstorms are off to the south of it here. But it's allowing us to see the circulation. A Hurricane Hunter aircraft is going in there today and will provide us with some valuable information as to whether this will develop. The Hurricane Center has up to 80% chance of developing into a tropical depression today. Now, if we go over to the model forecasts, we can see here they initialize 90L. And then notice how we have a spread here anywhere from Brownsville to southwestern Louisiana. And there's a very good reason why this is the case. If we go back to the visible satellite here, in fact, let's, let's zoom out a little bit. Here's the low sitting in here. Now notice its movement. It's hard to tell because the movement is short term. But it's generally moving northwest right now. And it's not moving so much westerly as it was yesterday. It came across this way. Now it's sort of curving off to the northwest here. It's interesting because notice the surface flow across the Gulf of Mexico is more northerly right now. The flow around this ridge is more northerly and this front that is draped across the North Gulf Coast bringing all these showers to the coastline here is inducing this northerly flow at the surface. But at the upper levels, if we go and look at the water vapor, here's our Invest 90L right here leaving the Caribbean. Notice this ridge that comes across the plains here and is now moving eastward. This ridge is creating more of a westerly flow in the mid-levels, which will stay this way for the next 24 hours or so as this ridge moves east over the eastern United States and will keep the flow west or west-northwesterly across the Gulf of Mexico in the mid-levels. So what we're seeing now is part of the reason this is sheared. Again, these thunderstorms are sheared off to the south of the center here. Part of the reason for that is that the mid-level the mid -level part, the deep part where the thunderstorms are, is going to be trying to move west-northwest, and the surface part is feeling this tug northward by the, surface by the surface flow in the Gulf of Mexico. So the system is being pulled two different ways right now. And it's going to be interesting to see which way it actually goes. If it strengthens, it becomes a deeper system and follows more of these southerly models towards southern Texas. If it weakens or tries to dissipate or remain very weak in the Gulf of Mexico, it will have a chance to move more northwest towards the Galveston area and southwest Louisiana. The question is, is the system going to strengthen or is it going to stay weak? Well, if we go back to the satellite here, notice it might be a little bit hard to see these milky white clouds streaming out of the northeast over the Gulf of Mexico. This is indicating shear associated with this big ridge again over the central United States bringing a northeast flow aloft across the Gulf of Mexico. And this northeast flow is pushing the thunderstorms south of the center. Remember, the center is right here. The thunderstorms are staying off to the south of it. And this is going to continue to be a problem as 90L crosses the Gulf of Mexico no matter which path it takes. And it's it's going to be hard to overcome that cheer. Also, if we look at the water vapor loop, there's a little bit of an area of dark colors in here in the central Gulf of Mexico. There's actually a pool of dry air sitting in here. And if we look at the sounding out of Cancun this morning, what this shows us here is this red line is the temperature sounding with height, and the green line is the dew point sounding with height. Now, if you haven't seen one of these before, it will be a little bit hard to understand. But basically, when these two lines are separated like this, it means that the air is dry, as opposed to saturated with water vapor. And this sounding actually 
actually is showing a fairly dry atmosphere in the mid-levels. And despite the fact that there's convection near Cancun right now, this atmosphere is actually fairly dry. And so the Gulf of Mexico is not going to be that favorable of environment for this system to be moving across. It's going to be dealing with dry air, partially due to subsidence south of this ridge, which means sinking air, and this upper low that's moving off in the Bay of Campeche. And it's also going to be sheared by this ridge that is sitting over the southern United States and making things so hot. So there are some issues for this system to deal with as we've been talking about for the last couple of days. And I wouldn't expect this to strengthen a whole lot. I will expect it to make a run at tropical depression status today and probably make a run at getting named Tropical Storm Dawn at some point during its life here. Now I would expect it to become probably a weak, maybe a moderate tropical storm. Not going to expect anything really above 50 miles per hour sustained wind strength with this as it comes across. That could change. Things change in the tropics all the time, so keep an eye on it. However, I don't expect it to strengthen all that much. Now, the fact that it will strengthen a little bit means that I think it will be able to curve a little bit farther west-northwest here. And for now, I think that it's going to move in between Brownsville and Corpus Christi, though this could easily shift farther north towards Galveston and the southwestern Louisiana coastline if the system remains weaker and the surface center is pulled more to the north by the surface flow and the convection remains sheared off. And the convection will likely remain sheared to the south and southwest of the center during this whole journey across the Gulf of Mexico. Condi conditions are not great for this system, but of course things could change. So keep an eye on it all along from central Louisiana all the way down to Brownsville. should probably keep an eye on this system. For now, I expect it to come more into south south central Texas and here with moderate strengthening perhaps into a moderate tropical storm but if it remains weaker we could see it come more up here either way we might get some nice rain into this area for these folks which would be nice more of a benefit than a nuisance if anything so hopefully the system will indeed remain weak and bring more joy than suffering to anyone who gets affected by it all right that's it for today thanks for watching